appointment to see this beautiful home on a corner lot, call Cindy Nickel at Heritage Realtors. Find your way home at 402-362-SOLD. 53-52, York clinging to the one-point lead. They've led by as much as 16, but Ottawa has hit three triples in the second half to cut into the lead. Trevor Lanier has it on the right side as York works by the right basket. Lanier tries to feed it down low to Michael Johnson. His shot no good, and Cameron Coleman cleans up with a layup of his own. He's got eight points, and it's 55-52. Let's see if Ottawa could tie it. Cameron Lindsay holds it on the right wing. Return pass right corner to Mitchell for three off the side of the rim. No good. Big defensive board by Cameron Coleman. Six points, four rebounds for Coleman. Step back three, right wing by Johnny Cooksey. Too strong off the heel, no good. And a rebound by Hollis Mitchell. Back and forth we go here at the Freeman Center. Mitchell, nice little sling pass to Cameron Lindsay. Wide open left wing for three, rims out. Defensive board again by Cameron Coleman. Coleman quickly in transition, feeds it to Michael Johnson. Right corner, thought about a three, but instead gives it to Keith Mack for three one more time. Keith Mack, four of five from downtown. The game high, 27 points, blowing everybody away. And York up six, 58-52. Holding it in the backcourt now is Logan Bollinger. Bowling over to Hasty. Left corner for Mitchell. Just keeps firing for three, but he's missed his last two triples, and it's 58-52. Cooksey quickly in transition, stops on the left wing, kicks it out. Michael Johnson, left corner for three, rims out. Cameron Coleman trying to clean up by the boards again. Gets an offensive rebound, puts up a shot. It is no good being defended by Titus Rice. And Coleman is fouled on his way up, and he'll go to the free throw line. Second team foul by Ottawa, and they actually get Halex Hasty on his first personal foul. So York up 6, 58-52. If Coleman can make one, the Panthers will go back up three scores. And the first shot by Coleman is good. 59-52, Cameron Coleman now with nine points. That's the second most for the Panthers. Checking back in for Ottawa is Jacob Niedig. Now, I did pronounce his name wrong in the first half. I said Niedig, so I apologize for that. Jacob Niedig, number 22, the junior guard out of Nixon, Missouri, checks back in. I'm still impressed, though, that I got Emeka Okoronkwo right on the first try. As Cameron Coleman sinks both free throws in York up eight, 60-52. to This ties their biggest lead of this half. Holding the ball is Devin Perez on the top of the circle. Bounce pass over to Titus Rice on the right side. Takes a couple dribbles inside and takes a deep right side jumper from 16 feet away. No good. Rebound Keith Mack. Mack 27 points, two boards, four or five from three. Coxey on the left wing, drives inside from the left side. Crazy behind the back layup. He hits the floor and he is fouled. So quick cut inside by Johnny Coxey. Gets up with a smile on his face. Third team foul by Ottawa. And that is the first personal foul on Devin Perez. Perez with five points coming off the bench for Ottawa and trying here to shoot two is Johnny Cooksey. No points so far yet for Johnny. And the first free throw rattles out. Yeah, Cooksey 0 of 5 from the floor, 0 of 3 from the three-point line. He does have two rebounds, a team high, a game high, five assists in 23 minutes, but no points yet. There's his first point. Hits the second of two free throws. York up nine. 61-52, York on an 8-0 run. 14 and a half to play in the game. Here's Hollis Mitchell holding it in the backcourt, getting a screen from Alex Hasty. There's the return pass to Hasty. Now kick back up top to Mitchell. Mitchell now will step back on the left side, gives it Devin Perez in the backcourt. Perez takes a couple dribbles forward, uh, passes it to Niedig, Niedig, sorry. Now Niedig, Niedig over to Akaronkwu on the left side, dribbling around. Now we'll split the double team Trying to drive from the left elbow. Puts up a shot. It's no good. Trevor Lanier up with the loose ball. Gives it to Keith Mack. Thought about a three. Now we'll drive the baseline right side. Puts up a layup with the right hand. No good. And ball still loose on the floor. Defensive rebound somehow wrangled in by Logan Bollinger. 14 minutes to go. And in transition is Hollis Mitchell. Johnny Cooksey playing him a little too tight. And we got a foul. First team foul by York this half. Stops our clock at 13.55. It was either on Mack or Cooksey. It is Cooksey on his first personal. Draylon Trippett will check in. Keith Mack will sit down. So from the far boundary is Mitchell. He inbounds it to Perez. Perez over to Akaronkwo. Akaronkwo to Niedig. Niedig in the backcourt. Now passes it back to Perez. Perez working around the perimeter. We've got an offensive foul away from the ball. And that 
is the fourth team foul by Ottawa and the first personal by Jacob Niedig. So a turnover by Ottawa. Big break here for York. 13th turnover of the game for the Braves, while York has 10. So York still staying on the positive side of turnovers. Checking in for the first time for York is Nick Brown, who holds the ball in the backcourt. Still dribbling, moves to the right side, calling signals. Stops on the right side, will try a three, and he nails it. Off the bench, Nick Brown, the freshman out of New Iberia, Louisiana. With a big triple, York up 64-52. Akaronquo tries for a three on the right side, no good. And Cameron Coleman up with a rebound. Coleman with four boards in this half alone. Coleman almost took an extra step, but drives the lane, splits the defense, and lays it up and in. Coleman with 12 points. And it's 66-52, a 13-0 run by York and timeout by Ottawa. Coach Aaron 